All right, we had a pretty decent strategy. It wasn't leading to like a, a bunch of banger games yesterday, but it's, you know what? I would rather win with 10 kills than die with seven in boot camp every goddamn round. Didn't see anyone drop with me. I wasn't really paying attention either. You know when you go to like other people's places with really nice yards and you're and the first thing in your mind is like, man, I want a yard like this. But then you realize that you can barely like force yourself to cut the grass in a timely manner. Like I don't even have grass yet. Our house is too new. Hopefully we'll have a yard soon enough, but like my parents have this beautiful yard in the back. They got a nice seating area. You know how you know people just collect stuff so like they have just it looks like it's just nice. It's comfortable. They've, you know, gone through like 45 sets of lawn furniture. They've perfected the art of, you know, having a nice outdoor seating area. And you're you're sitting out there like, man, I want one of these so bad. But, you know, but they back onto a freaking pond. There's like wildlife noises. There's ducks, you know, dupping, dicking and whatever the heck and ducks do. You know, they're out there meh, eating their eating their uh, grass or whatever the hell ducks are eating these days. You know? And then uh, I have a dirt patch filled with weeds because my neighbors won't commit to building a fence on time. Oh, boy. Damn, he was chilling. I've just been wanting to play and, and just be at home and enjoy myself. I'll get I'll get back to like doing all the logistics stuff soon oh we are dead center oh baby and you know what that means foggy sandhawk dead center first circle absolute banger incoming okay so i'm back here this is the center compound basically but i mean this is rough i'm just gonna roam around maybe i'll find some people Yes. I'm coming. Just wait a sec. Oh, this is boot camp. No, dude. What was he doing? Is he fighting a guy in there? I don't think I'm going to spew, but I was a little concerned. Hashtag banger. Yes, indeed. Okay, this guy. Do you have a car 98? Damn it. He only has a mutant. Uh, yeah. AR suppressor. Ripperino. Okay, boot camp is out. Ooh, that's interesting. So we're going to go out and around and over boot camp. I might want to take a vehicle, but again, snaky Sandhawk. So, oh yeah, quick, uh, quick thing for you guys. <laughs> Baby.
how long is the ban? I think Fuzz Faces was 30 days, and I think Doc Doc hasn't said how long his ban is. That guy had to jump on me and everything. Damn. And the compensator. Uh, attack stock? Yeah, sure. Eff it. We'll just use this. That guy crouched walked the whole way up here <laughs> and he couldn't find me. You know what, dude? Um the, I honestly I don't I don't blame Doc. Doc had a camera crew with him, and that should have meant that he had a producer with him as well. And if his producer was like, yeah, go ahead, dude, let's film in here, then his producer is brain dead. The producer's sole purpose is to prevent things like that from happening. So I don't, I don't, like, Doc went in there, he, he probably shouldn't have, but someone should have told him not to as well. So a bit of a, a bit of multiple failures there. So Doc is to blame, obviously, but he's, he's not a hundred percent to blame because there's like, he would have had to have had a meeting with someone. Maybe he only had a camera crew, but I mean, no one was like, this is a bad idea. Like everybody knows you cannot bring cameras and film in a public restroom. You can't do it, you know? So, I mean, the fact that no one like said anything is just insane. That's, that's kind of my take, you know? Doc does his thing, man. I'm, I'm not, you know, no disrespect to the doc, but you know, he got banned. And mm, I guess that's probably the last time that we'll see him peeking his head over uh, a bathroom stall. <laughs> So I'm in this weird position where do I want to like? There's 20 alive. Bunch in the I bet you there's a bunch in the boot camp, but I don't know where I want to position myself here. Oh, this is where I want to position myself in this freaking tree right here. Oh, I oh, can't get in this one. This is a weird I mean I like this spot but it's I think it's very flankable yep like I wasn't really aware of what was going on but that's okay We're running a little low on seven or five, six. There's another guy. Well, I'm not really low if that's the kind of kills I'm going to get. <laughs> Turn your headphones up. It is the, the greatest piece of advice I can say is just deafen yourself. Just deafen yourself and everything will be great. Don't deafen yourself. It's not worth it. Must be nice to be back home. You better believe it. Man, this is a weird spot. We've had games end like this. Mm, I have to be inside, I think, at this stage. Because we're in the low ground. The center of the circle, anyway. Because there's people going to be across the river and in these houses. Maybe don't. Maybe I don't have to. I'm just trying to think of where else I can go. Maybe over here. This is where boot camp's coming out, though. I don't want to be on that side. 
Hmm. Glad I was able to get some kills on the edge, but now it's going to be a little bit of a question as to whether or not I can survive. I, I have to take this building. I have to. Five alive. We got the zone as well. I gotta be very mindful of nades. Now, see, this is the problem with being in the low ground in the buildings is I got great cover, but I can't see shit. I hate this. I hate this position. I hate it. Got him. So two four nine guy. Somebody else. And the guy next to me, right? I gotta kill a two four nine guy. Actually, what I do, what I can do, is go the other way. Think. Oh no, there's no cover out here. Okay, well we got we got to go out and around because I can't go into the building. I'm gonna go out. I saw him, I think. <laughs> GG's. Another nine kill on Sanok. Imagine that. Wow, get deleted, by the way. <laughs> another niner. Another nine kill. I think I called it at the beginning of the game. <laughs> God damn it. Every goddamn.